Hey guys, Scare9 here. Welcome back to my channel today. And if you look right there at the sun, you can see that the Almighty is closer than ever. And we are going to have to deal with that threat sometime in the season because that's the whole point of this season. There you go. You can see that pretty good. Uh, it's obviously a huge looming threat. We can't move on to whatever's next without taking care of it. Uh, and we already have confirmation from Anna Bray that Rasputin is at full power and he is ready to go. And he's ready to destroy this thing. So why hasn't he yet? And that is going to be the first part of a theory where I think we are going to be getting a Fortnite style live event very soon within the next week for Destiny 2. Now, regardless what people think about Fortnite, it's really hard to deny that what Epic has done with these live events every season have completely revolutionized the game. They've broken countless world records for amount of people at a concert uh, with like Marshmello and some other people, I don't know. Uh, they've shown like trailers for huge movies in game. They've had huge in game rendered giant battles and, and explosions and black holes in it. It's been nuts. It's really crazy. And it would be very, very cool to see some of that stuff come to Destiny. Um, and I think we're going to be getting something like that this season. Now, in this video, we are going to be discussing a single data mine, and it is going to be an emblem and the description of that emblem. So if you're not a fan of data mines and you don't want to see that emblem or, or anything pertaining to something that isn't yet in the game, please leave. I don't want to spoil anything for you. Now, I will say it's just a description of an emblem. It doesn't straight out say what's going to happen, but it is a part of my theory uh, and I would like to discuss it. So that's what we're going to do. So why do I think we're getting a live event? Currently, there is no cutscene available in the database. Usually Ginzer or someone else will data mine these cutscenes, unfortunately. I will say I'm not a proponent of data mining. I, mean, I just want to throw that out there. I think it ruins the experience. It kind of ruins theory crafting like I'm doing right now and that sort of thing. And right now, there's been no data mined cutscene for the end of the season. The Jupiter one that we got yesterday was it. If there was a cutscene to end off the season, more than likely, it would already be in the game, in the API, in the database somewhere, and someone would have found it by now and we could watch it. But that's not the case. And I don't really believe that Bungie would just off screen blow up the Almighty, give us a text chat that's like, the Almighty's been destroyed. Go to the tower to see the fallout or whatever, you know? This is something that we've been building towards all season. We have the huge community event really pushing to get Rasputin powered up. There has to be something epic to cap it off. And since it's not a cutscene, I do think we're gonna be seeing an in-game live event. Now, I do have more evidence for this. So let's start with the data mind emblem. Once again, final chance. Sorry, my brightness is really messing with me. I guess I'll leave it down. So the emblem that has been found is called Seraph's Winks. It was found in the database and the source is by witnessing Rasputin's full power. Rasputin is at full power now. We are going to destroy the Almighty with that full power. But how are we going to witness this if it's not in a cutscene? And to be fair, why would they give us an emblem for a cutscene, right? They only give us these emblems for you had to be there moments. One time cutscenes aren't really that. I think this is more evidence of a live event. It's Bungie's first live event or in, in this kind of capacity. And it'd be really cool to celebrate anyone who was actively in the tower during that event with an emblem. So I think that at some point in this next week, we're gonna get a timer somewhere or a countdown on Twitter or something where it's like, make sure you are in the tower at this point in time on this day, something crazy is gonna happen. And if you're there, you'll get this emblem. And if you're not, you won't. And you won't get to see the Almighty being destroyed unless you watch like a YouTube video or a stream or something. Now, another piece of evidence I have is going to be the season trailer here. Everyone pointed to this and was like, oh, we have another cutscene, but it's pretty obvious to me that this is not a cutscene. We have not seen this yet, and I'm just gonna play it out. You're gonna hear Zavala talk. Um, everyone's obviously looking at the Almighty here. We have no way And we have not seen any of that. We have not seen any of that footage in game. Towards... This is not this is not a cutscene, guys. So this is at 34 seconds. So if we go here, this is what cutscenes look like. Much more cinematic. They've got kind of like the gray tint to them. These are obviously in-game rendered or yeah, in-game rendered cutscene. This is multiple cutscenes. This right here 
is just a random this is ikora in the tower but this is just a this is our character right this is this looks different it's more grainy it's not like a cgi cutscene. this is an in-engine screenshot that was taken to show off this is this is not a cutscene. this is actually someone just looking at a camera looking at these characters in this animation so i think later this week the people at the tower are going to start to look up towards the almighty uh and and recognize that we're kind of screwed and then Respin's going to destroy it in that live event this is also just a guardian right um but once again i just want to compare cutscene very kind of smooth textured very obviously cgi type of stuff going on here not as smooth right you can just look at the helmet very kind of choppy this just is not a cutscene especially like look at this person's like clothes come on um this is something that was rendered in game and we can actually go down to that spot right now Ooh, my fov is off um so if we go down here you know they're standing by ikora so i think at some point this next week before the next season kicks off it might even be next tuesday i would imagine it'll be the weekend because if it's something like this here one second i just want to find a person look at this you can very easily what the you can very easily see how that was just a shot taken like this, right? Pretty much the same exact type of view. That's all they were doing as an in-game screenshot of a person looking up at the Almighty, which is over there now, but as the sun travels, it'll be there. Um, and we can do the same for Ikora. My FOV is a little bit off, but you can see very well that lighting sucks. But <laughs> those were obviously, at least in my mind, not cutscene scenes though they were in game in engine screenshots of npcs interacting with the environment during some type of live event so i think that either saturday or sunday they're gonna want to put this on a weekend because they want to hype it up as much as possible this is going to lead into the next season once word gets out that bungie is now doing these huge live events like fortnite it's gonna it's gonna be massive people are gonna love it there's gonna be a lot of people tuning in and uh, in order to get uh, the most focus on your game as possible, you're going to want to do it on a weekend. So I would make sure, maybe just keep your eyes out this weekend for something. Um, I think it's going to go like this. We're going to get some sort of countdown on Twitter. Just going to start posting. It'll be like 24 hours, blah, blah, blah. Um, maybe be in the tower. It'll. There will most certainly, at least in my mind, I think there has to be a time and a date and a location, well, which is just the tower. You show up, the the Almighty is getting closer and closer and closer. Then all of a sudden you see rockets come out of nowhere or something like that. It blows up. Parts of it hit the tower. Uh, we've had the glitched instances where people have seen destruction in the tower near Zavala and, and that sort of stuff. No, nothing huge, just little chunks of the walls taken out and stuff. Um, that's all completely in-game right now. And it seems like it's a hidden texture underneath. Like It seems like there's two textures, right? There's like a normal tower texture. And then there's the broken one slightly underneath. So it seems like they are prepared to do something like that in real time, at least as far as my understanding of, of engines and that sort of thing go. And I think everything's just set up so we get this sort of live event. I'm really excited. I know this is more of a rambly video, but uh, it's something that I think would be really, really big for the franchise and really, really cool. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Do you guys think we're gonna be giving this live event? If so, when? If not, why not? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like rating and to share it with your friends. If you're interested in watching either of the two videos on screen, you can click their respective annotations to be taken to them. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure to the giant version of my logo on screen to be subscribed to my awesome Destiny 2 videos and live streams. Thank you guys so much for watching today, and I will see you in my next video.